if I told you that now you can actually spy on top drop shipping websites to see what products they are selling to fast track your way to finding your winning products. If that piques your interest, then keep watching this video. What's up everybody, Fred Lam here and welcome to my YouTube channel where you get to learn everything on how to build, grow and scale an online business. Now more specifically, in my YouTube channel, you will find a lot of tutorials, how to's and even strategies on how you can actually build your very own drop shipping Shopify store from the grounds up to start generating sales. Make sure that you go into my YouTube channel and indulge yourself into all my videos. Now in today's video, I'm going to actually show you a secret hack to finding top drop shipping websites and even see exactly how their ads look like so that you can use it for inspiration to finding your next winning product. But before we get into the details, please help me smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. So that being said, first thing first, before I even show you this little hack that we use with our students to finding winning product, I need to be very honest and upfront with you. First of all, even if you are able to actually find your next winning product using the strategy that I'm about to share with you, please don't copy it word for word. And in fact, here's the truth. Even if you copy to the T on everything that I'm about to share with you, you may not get the results as the actual dropshipping store that you are trying to copy. And the reason why that is, is because you never know exactly what their upsells are, what back end strategy they have, and more importantly, what their true cost per acquisition is when it comes to running Facebook ad. So with what I'm about to share with you, you want to actually use it for doing the research that you would need when you are finding winning products for your drop shipping business. So with that out of the way, Instead of me just talking about it and to show you what you need to do, I'm actually gonna head over to my screen right now to walk you through step by step on how to find top drop shipping websites and even their top converting ad. So let's head over there right now. All right, so we're back to my computer right now and the first thing that you wanted to do is to go to this website called shoppystores.com. They have aggregated all the Shopify stores that they can locate and to showcase their products and also their website URL. So once I'm on here, the first thing that I'll go to is the drop shipping tab. And then on here, you can actually see all the drop shipping stores that they are able to actually find that you can actually use to see what are the top drop shipping stores right now. So with that, this one really catch my attention. It says um, meowingtins.com. The growth has been over 9 million. Pretty crazy. So you can actually click on click here to look at their website and sort it by the best selling. So as you can see, you can see all the products that they are currently selling right now. So that if you are in the cat niche, you will know exactly what products this drop shipping store is actually selling. Now, being on this website, you won't able to know which product is really doing the best, which one is really being advertised and getting customers. So what you wanted to do next is to simply locate their Facebook page. Oftentimes, a lot of people will showcase their Facebook URL right in their website, which I actually don't recommend you to do because if they encounter people like us now knowing what to do, we can actually spy on exactly how their ads look like. How? Very simple. So if I actually visit their Facebook page right now, I simply scroll on the left hand side and simply go to page transparency. And when I click to see all, 
I can actually see if they have ads running or not. And because of the incident that Facebook had a couple years ago with Cambridge Analytica, now Facebook is forced to show what ads are currently active for a particular Facebook page. So this gives us a competitive advantage because now we can actually go to the ad library and see what is being sold. But now when you are on this page, you will see, hey, there's no ads running. Well, it's because by default, it will load based on your country. So you want to actually change it to all country. And I'm going to reload this again into all ads and do a search. And now you get to see all the ads that are currently active. So this ad over here or these ads over here started on September 1st. As I'm recording this right now, it is September, I would say, I think it is 14 today, I would believe. So they've been running this ad for a good two weeks, right? This actually started in July. So knowing for a fact that if this ad has been ran since July until now, which is four months, or no, wait, two months, then chances are this product is obviously doing very well. Same thing over here. These products are actually being ran in June. So the older it is, the better, because you know for a fact that these ads have been active for quite a long time and it's got to be profitable or else they won't be running ad. But again, they can actually, you can actually see these are the ads that they are testing out. And all you got to do is simply funnel hack them, right? Go to click on shop now and then really see what products they are actually showcasing and selling within their ad. So once again, you can actually indulge yourself into this website over here, see what is currently selling, right? Like this one is uh, bluecrate.com. I can click and see what are the current top selling products that they are selling, right? Very funky products, little gadgets, and I can locate their Facebook. Let's see if I can find their Facebook page. Yes, I can. Right. If I go to their Facebook page, I can once again, just waiting for it to load, head over to the page transparency, and it is currently running ad, right? Once again, go to their ad library, go through the process, and you'll see exactly how they position their ad copy, their product, their ads, and so on and so forth. So as I said, use this to your advantage. All right, so it's that simple. Listen, all you have to do is simply go to shoppystores.com, go simply to the drop shipping tab and start looking into each and every website that you find. On top of that, all you have to do is simply locate their Facebook page so that you can actually find their page transparency to see what ads are currently active so that you know for a fact that if they're spending money on a specific ad, you know that they are generating profit or breaking even, or most likely they are using it to attract new customers to their website. Now, as I said earlier, please don't copy it to the exact same as these competitors. What you want to do is to use it as inspiration to actually find the common denominator within your niche on what's really working and what's really selling so that when you do your own winning product research, you know for a fact on exactly what you got to do and what to look out for to find the product that you can actually use to become and build it to a six to seven figure business. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, at the end of the day, if you want additional help from my team and I to coach you every single day to help you with your Shopify dropshipping business, I'll leave some links right down below in the video description that you can actually check it out where we are going to actually hold your hands and help you with your Shopify dropshipping business. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please help me smash the like button subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. Till next time.